Mm. Mr. Cotton, Mr. Fletcher, this is Isaac Goodenough. Oh, God give you good mouth, sirs. Welcome to my home. Welcome. This is your man from the letter? I know not where to begin. I have much to tell you, magistrates. None of it good. Shall we pray? Aye. Aye, we shall. Um, Mr. Cotton, you are learned and wise. It would do me a great honor to hear you read a brief devotion at my table. Lord, may I feel that I am a stranger and a pilgrim on earth, declaring plain lie that I seek a country. My title to it becoming daily more clear, my maintenance for it more perfect, my foretaste of it more abundant, and whatsoever I do may be done in the Saviour's name. Amen. 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 Oh, forgive me, sirs. I have of late suffered a weakness of faith. I believe, I believe that that is why the deceiver chose me. Chose thee? For what purpose? I know not. Tell the magistrates what thou seeing, Isaac. <clears throat> when? It was three weeks past. I was caught in the woods at nightfall. Sudbury Town is small, unlike Baston with its tavern rakes about all hours, street lamps and every corner, moonlight on the arbor, no. Night falls hard here, sirs, and with it comes a most dreadful dark, and a most heavy silence. It was in that darkness and that silence that I saw. So what? A spirit. It came in the form of light. Purer than fire. Whiter. It moved with such grace. Such smartness. It blinded me. I stood there, rooted to the spot. It was there and then... It was gone. The spirit, hath it a bear to thee since? No, sir. Nor any other queer thing? No. A font of corruption eludes us yet, sirs. Mr. Fletcher and myself will discover it, I promise thee that. For thy part, Reverend Russell, implore thy congregation to double their prayers. The war against the devil is waged within men's arts. Aye. Folk said very time of profit to remember it. I would fain hear another prayer. Lord, watch over thy servant, Isaac Goodenow. Let not the devil sink his claws into him. Let thy grace come down upon him and give him courage and strength, O Lord, for the journey that lies afore him. Journey? 